Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play called Kings and Heroes. This is an action-adventure indie RPG game that's in early access at the moment. It's developed and published by Industry Games. The release date was May 31st of 2016, but like I said, it's still in early access, so they're still doing stuff to it. It is currently on Steam on sale for $24.89, but the normal price is $29.99. Now, before you guys are like, well, you started it without us? No. This is the the beginning screen like there is no uh, go into options set up the sound and things like that which is normally what I do before I start these videos so that I can have all the music levels and volume levels of the voicing you know right where it needs to be so you guys can hear me and it at the same time uh, but I didn't want you guys to miss anything so it's asking us to choose I guess our class or race that we want to go with and uh, we have a few choices down here on the bottom we have champion cleric wizard rogue and ranger now those of you who have watched my RPG games know that I tend to prefer Cleric more than anything else. However, if we're going to be playing by ourselves, I mainly will either choose a Warrior, kind of like a Champion, or a Wizard type thing. But uh, I'm kind of torn. I don't know which one to go with. Uh, like, I want to try each of those three. But I think the best bet is to go with a Cleric because that is what I'm comfortable with. That is what I'm used to. And I can compare this game with other games that we've played with that class because I'm very, very familiar with that. So that's what we're going to try. Although I am uh, I am definitely thinking about coming in and trying a Champion and Wizard. So if you want to see me do one of the other two, the Rogues and the Rangers, leave those comments below and I'll give them a shot. They're not ones that I usually... I uh, tend to try my hand at in games like this, so if unless you guys actually ask me to do that, I probably won't get to those classes, but you let's go to Cleric. Of you feel the calling to serve others with the wisdom granted to you by the Divine. You are blessed with the ability to heal and defend your allies. Primary is wisdom, which is usually the case. Secondary is intelligence, which is usually not the case. That's actually kind of uh, interesting they went that route. Let's look at the other ones before we finally choose you what route we're going. Into you are trained in the arts of warfare. Your abilities are enhanced by your weapons and your armor. You are the defender of your allies. Strength and dexterity. So strength is your primary. Dexterity is your secondary. That actually is very common. Dexterity is usually like procking and uh, kind of that sort of thing, which uh, champions, warriors tend to use quite a bit. You are a master of the elements. Uh, you are in tune with your raw magic of the universe. Your intellect is your greatest asset in dispatching your foes. Primary intelligence, secondary wisdom. Again, usually, you know, not the case with the secondary being the exact opposite of what the wizards are or what the clerics are. Uh, you either you use intelligence or you use wisdom. You usually don't ever use both, but we'll see how that works out. By the time they see you, it will be too late. You are skilled at moving unnoticed and are light on your feet. You utilize dexterity to dispatch your foes quickly and vanish. So primary dexterity, secondary is strength. That sounds about right. You are unrivaled in your mastery of the bow. You are skilled in range combat. You seek to use your skills to dispatch your foes from a distance. Primary dexterity and secondary intelligence. Never really seen a ranger use intelligence as uh, one of their their uh, stats that they like. Wisdom, yeah, because they sometimes have magical abilities, magical powers to use. Strength as well, because you're using a bow. But again, you know, every RPG is a little bit different, and sometimes in a very good way. So I'm definitely giving it a shot. But we're going to go with Cleric. Of judgment. Now let's see. We do have different races, apparently. Six of them to choose from. I didn't know that. So we have humans. As old as time. Original rulers of the Ten Kingdoms. Nice. All right. So humans are the oldest known race in the land. They are strong in body, clever of mind, and charming to others. They have the ability to do well in any endeavor. Uh, no starting bonus. So humans in RPG games, guys, I don't know if it's right or wrong, but they always tend to be, you know, middle of the ground, kind of average characters, nothing really fantastic, nothing really bad about them either. The other races will have a bonus and then a negative as well. So they have like more strength, but they're ugly. And so their charisma gets really low or they have, uh, you know, a, a high uh, in intellect, but they are also very weak, you know, that kind of thing. So we'll have to see if they kind of keep up that tradition in this one or if, uh, you know, there's something else going on. So let's look at Dwarf. Strong and stout. They are the captains of industry. 
Dwarves are short and stout with a strong constitution. They make their homes in the deep places of the earth. So they get one strength, plus two constitution, minus one dexterity, and minus one intellect. So they do have that, you know, gain and loss at the same time. Uh, strength, if you're going to go with like a warrior constitution, that would also be that warrior kind of aspect. Uh, dexterity and intellect, obviously, depending on the route you're going, maybe not the best race for you to pick for the class you're going with. Live and quick, the picture of coordination and control. Elves are ancient race, uh, close to nature. They are the most intellect race in the land, or intelligent race in the land. They are long-lived and are slow to trust those outsiders. So they get one dexterity, two intel, minus one strength, and minus one constitution. So again, they're getting that extra intellect, but they're losing a little bit of that body. They're kind of weak, and they lose that strength and that constitution because of that. Many will underestimate you because of your size. A fatal mistake. Halflings are a long-lived race with a childlike appearance. They are quick on their feet and wise. It is difficult to tell if they are friend or foe. So they get plus one dexterity, plus two wisdom, minus one strength, minus one intellect. So, you know, depending on what you're trying to do, two wisdom is not bad, especially for a cleric. So we might end up going with them, although I'm not really a big fan of halflings. So let's let's look at the orcs. Renowned for their strength and fury, not for their diplomacy. <laughs> Orcs are the strongest of all races. They excel in physical combat. Their history is shrouded in mystery. Plus two strength, plus one constitution, minus one intel, minus one wisdom. Uh, a friend of mine, actually, uh, Hydros Inc., usually prefers to play Orcs, so I could see him totally playing like a warrior on this one. But uh, let's see about goblins. Never and cunning, a powerful ally or a deadly foe. Goblins are the youngest race. They are crafty in their dealings with other races. In battle, they are known for their dexterity and quickness. Plus two to dexterity, plus one to intellect, minus one strength, and minus one constitution. So again, if you do not know which route you want to go down, human seems to be the uh, the middle of the ground. No stat bonuses, but nothing negative either. So if you're just like, ah, I've never played an RPG, Go down human, get a feel for the game, and then come back and choose your starting race. Now, normally, I'd probably go with Elf, even though it doesn't really give me the the wisdom that I would want. But it seems like you have to choose the the you know the gender that it wants you to choose based off of the cards. So I only see one that's a female, so that's kind of unfortunate. I'd like to see the races where you can be either male or female, depending on uh, you know the race that you're picking. Um, you know, vice versa. So we're going to go with Halfling because that's going to give us the best character we have. We will underestimate you because of your size. All right. Fatal mistake. So roll the dice for your character stats. Hover over a card to see a description. Uh, minimum three, maximum 18. Well, strength, the physical vigor, and muscle power of your character. This stat or statistic, statistic, holy crap, sorry guys, is key for those who want to excel in physical combat. Bonus mod, zero minus one, so we don't really have that much strength. We don't really need it either. Intelligence, the uh, capability for learning and understanding the knowledge of the world. The statistics is key for those who want to excel in uh, arcane magic powers. Uh, bonus, zero, one. Okay, so wisdom, the capability to see the truth in all actions, uh, these are key for insight of the ways of the world and the magic at their disposal. Dexterity, the physical agility and nimbleness of a character's body, maneuvering in difficult situations and attacking from afar. Constitution, the overall physical well-being of a character's body, uh, helping you to endure physical damage. And charisma, the capability for which characters has to inspire or influence others. Uh, strong relationships with others. So let's try strength, wisdom. Okay, so we can't do this manually. I guess we really just have to roll the dice. Hmm. That actually seems pretty good to me. That seems pretty good. We don't need a high strength. We get a very, very high wisdom. We get a pretty decent constitution and charisma and intellect. But let's try rolling one more time. Roll the dice for your character. Hover over a card to see a description. Minimum three, maximum 18. Minimum three. So minimum is the least you can get. Maximum is 18. So we want to get 18 on wisdom. See if we can do that. 
10, 10, 17. No, that's, that's not a good roll. Come on, give me 18 on wisdom. Mm. Now, see, we want 18 on wisdom, and we want a little bit high on intellect as well. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the problem with these things where it's all random, is you sit here and you will random over and over and over and over again until you get the numbers you want, which basically means just let me pick the numbers I want because I'm going to do it until I want to uh, to say yes, or I get tired of doing it, but ugh, the numbers are getting worse. Yeah, it may never, but I'm going to keep trying until you give me something that I like. That was actually not too bad. But not too great either. Come on. Ugh. I want I want 18 on wisdom. 14 and then 3 on intel. No, that ain't gonna work. Okay, that that's actually not too bad. We got 17 on wisdom, 11 on intellect, so that's okay, into intelligence. We do lose a lot on charisma. Which, you know, I kind of wish the 17 strength was on the charisma one, but uh, we can do that. We can go with that one. Actually, I think we got a more numbers on this one than we had on any of the other ones. Those are really, really high numbers on all of that. So, yeah, we're going to go with that one. Not quite as high as I would like, but I think it's okay. So let's go with that. Um, I guess we get to choose what we're going to be, evil or good, or somewhere down the middle. So we can do lawfully good neutral good chaotic good so a little bit of uh, chaos in there uh, lawfully neutral neutral completely chaotic neutral lawfully evil neutral evil or chaotic evil i think we're gonna go with the good side although i don't really like the picture he looks real goofy and a uh, big smile and like yeah the eyes and stuff so we're gonna go with the good side they will sing songs to your glory for thousands of years all right, so there's my guy right there. I can change his height. I think I'm going to make him a little bit taller. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to embrace... Should we... We're going to embrace his smallness. We're going to go small. Uh, we're going to go with male. So you can go male, female. Uh, so that's good. So you can actually pick that out you want. Go with male. And we're going to go with... Uh, let's go with the Miro for a name. We're going to go with age... Uh, he does look a little haggard there, a little bit older. We're going to go with young, because they said he looks really young as one of those guys. Can we change the face? Can't change the face, but we can give him different hair. Oh, my God. Such such weird-looking hair. And we can change the color of it. Okay, so let's change the color to brown. A little bit darker brown? Nah, it's too dark. Mm, that's not too bad. Oh, jeez. Uh, I almost want to go with bold. But, yeah, we'll go with that one. Uh, beard, can we change it? It won't let us change the beard, unfortunate. Uh, what about tattoos? Can we get rid of the tattoos on his face? There we go, we can change the tattoos. Um, yeah, we'll go with no tattoo. Uh, eyes, we're gonna go with brown, but they don't really have, they have red, which is weird. Uh, what about his face? We can't change his face, huh? There's a bar for it, it's just not highlighted at the moment. Same thing with beard. So I'm guessing they're going to be adding that into the game at some point down the road. Don't really like his face too much. You can see he's actually, he turns his eyes and his head to look at you. Which is kind of kind of interesting. Let me change his hair. Oh, I don't like that hair. Ugh, I don't really like any of the hair. It's so bad. Okay, we'll go with that one. It's the least offensive to me. <laughs> Okay, so our guy is a little weird looking. Kings and Heroes. This is a uh, multiplayer game, guys. So you can come on here and you can play with your friends. Uh, I'm hoping you can play with strangers as well. We'll get some groups going and try that aspect out. It looks amazingly cool. I can't wait to give this game a try. Now, again, it is developed by Industry Games. And the release date was May 21st, 2016. But again, early access. So be prepared for little bugs. Be prepared for uh, constant updates and things of that sort, that is what these games go through. And they do need people to test them out. You know, the more you guys test the game out, the more you submit the bug reports. That's the one key feature that I would highly suggest you guys do if you ever play a, a you know early access game or you get into a beta or something like that. I've been part of those, and I've been on both sides, the ones that report bugs and the ones that just kind of play and help test the... Um, you know, the, the the strain on the servers and things of that sort. But it helps them out so much more if you actually let them know when you find a bug that's not working. I'm getting a little bit of lag right here, so let's 
Let's see if this clears up. I think it's still loading into the game. I give it a second. My computer should be able to run this no problem whatsoever. Uh huh. Wow, this is really, really laggy. It's actually kind of frozen on me. I'm going to give it a second. Give it a second to load in. Get all the, the texture packs. Sometimes it takes a little while for games like that to, uh, to get everything working. I'm going to hit the escape button here and see if maybe it will go into the options. And I can go in there and look at the settings and see what's going on there. Mm. I did move the mouse around a little bit, so maybe that had freaked it out. But, wow, this is really, really like There we go. Options. Let me go into options. Come on. Open it up. There we go. Only thing I can think of is the connection isn't the greatest. My connection is fantastic, by the way, but maybe on their server side, it's uh, being bogged down by a lot of people on. Although, considering it's like 3 in the morning, I don't really see that being the case. But, all right. So, 1920 by 1080. That should be fine. Graphic quality isn't even all the way up to the highest setting it can possibly be. There it goes. It looks like it's loading a little faster now, and it's loading some more stuff in. So, let's go to Ultra on that one. Give it a few seconds to... Uh, to render everything, windowed screen, that's fine. Enable VSync is off. Gamma looks fine. Resolution, view distance, that all seems good. Let's look at sound. Now, this is going to be something I'm going to have to uh, do this video because we've already started it. I will go back in, listen to the volume, listen to the music, listen to the ambient uh, stuff. So if it's a little loud in this one, I will be fixing that from uh, from this episode to the next one. Aim sensitivity, so we can change the sensitivity of the mouse controls all right what do we got here toggle camera ability left mouse button right mouse button abilities one two three four and five yes yeah, so on and so forth spacebar to jump probably end up changing that to something else you can actually use a gamepad for playing this game which will be interesting i do have uh you know a xbox 360 controller sitting right next to me so we may end up going ahead and trying that out all right let's go back to the back um let me options uh, back that's gonna stay on the screen isn't it options come on here we go apply changes all right so that's there ah oh, come on that's gonna stay on the screen you gotta be kidding me well at least it's going a lot smoother than it was earlier uh, Wasa keys? Yeah, why do you guys always use the Wasa keys? I hate those keys. Alright, so I guess... Uh, are we gonna have to exit out? We might have to exit out here, guys. Hey guys, and we are finally back. Uh, it just required me to kind of exit out and come back in, and it got rid of that screen. A uh, little kind of glitch there, but look at this, guys. This is actually quite beautiful. Now, my left mouse button does that, whatever that is. I guess that's my, my regular attack. Uh, that is my heal, I'm guessing. And let's see, what does number one do? One, two. Two is doing something. Three? Hmm, I have no idea what any of those do, but... They're very, very uh, kind of cool sounding at the very least. So we're going to come up here. I have no idea what we're supposed to be doing. There's no arrows or anything like that leading me on to uh, to tell me I need to go over here in this direction. There are some people on. This guy, I'm guessing, rest in peace, is level 36. I can't attack him. I can't heal him up either. Let's come over here. We got Cage, who's level 4. And this guy who's level 5. Looking pretty cool, man. Looking pretty cool at that. Open is level 50, and they're doing uh, items over here. They're checking some stuff out. Let me go into my inventory, see what I got. This is my guy level. I just hit I. I is usually for inventory, so in case you guys are kind of wondering. And when somebody runs through you, I guess so you can see them on your screen. We got leather bracers, leather belt, leather pants, leather boots, and a leather chest piece. We also have a teleportation stone, which teleports me back to my house. And we have a welcome letter. Go to the inn of the Silver Dove at the center of town and talk to near a mirror. All right, well, we can try that. We can definitely go check that out. Let me look at my abilities as well. That way I can get a feel for what these actually do. Uh, resurrect. So I can resurrect your target, bringing them back to life instantly. That's kind of cool. Right off the bat, I get that one. Blessing of Wisdom. Increase your spell power, making spells more effective, which is kind of cool. And remove all movement impairing effects from your target so I can free them. 
And this one is a heal. Heals your target instantly for part of their health. Doesn't say for how much. And then Smite cast a Holy Hammer at your target, dealing damage to all of them on impact. Well, that's kind of cool. What else do I got? Shoot Arrow. Basic ranged attack. Melee attack. Strike your opponent doing damage. We already know that. Um, can I drag that down? I guess I can. We'll, we'll drag that down there. That way we at least have the options for doing those in case we need to. Crafting. You must be near a crafting station to craft. I kind of think I was. Bosses. We haven't uh, discovered any bosses yet. Groups. Uh, we could go over here and ask these guys to group with us. Let's see what kind of what kind of classes we have. We have an elf ranger, an orc champion, a human champion, a human cleric, a human wizard, and a goblin ranger. So a little bit of everything, actually. That's kind of cool. So it shows us what our primary stats are. wonder why some of them are in red. Hmm. Not sure on that. We're not aligned to anybody yet. Our special ability is to levitate. And uh, damage right is 10. So it can show us what our melee attack is, our spell attack power, and our health. But it doesn't show us what our power as far as, like, if we have one, like a mana bar. Oh, we do have a mana bar, do we? But you don't use very much mana when you cast anything, do you? Uh, why can't I move? There we go. Wasa. Okay, so we are looking for the inn at the center of town, right? And I'm guessing since it's at the center of town, that is probably the center. And the inn is probably right behind it. So let's go check that out. There's Cage right there. He's already gotten some pretty cool armor. Let's go straight up into it. Doesn't have a name on it, though, so I'm not sure if this is the right place or not. There we go. That, uh, yep, that looks like a dove to me. And so we're looking for somebody to talk to here. How do we talk to people? That is not it. All right, let's come over here. Got a few more people here. Let me look at that again. Go in my inventory. What was the name of the guy? Niamar? All right, we're looking for Niamar. You. Oh, so we can sit down? That's kind of cool. I'm so small. I can't even see over the table. Nope. That's going to get me killed. <laughs> I'm going to do that on the wrong person. What if we sit? Can we talk to anybody? Dungeons. Create. Tell, so tell me, Demira, what would you like to do? So we can create a dungeon? No, we're, we're not going to do that just yet. We don't even know how to play the game yet. Going into uh, dungeons probably not a good idea. All right, let's do stand. And let's get out of here. There we go. Good luck. What about you? What if I sit next to you? Create a dungeon. So you don't have a name over your head. How do I know who I'm supposed to be talking to? What about coming over here? Uh, you don't have a name either. Hmm. This looks like it. This looks like the place. It says the dove right on the door. I'm just... I have to find the right person. That's a beautiful graphics, though. I like it. Let's come up here. It kind of makes me feel so small. I can't even see out a window. <laughs> Why did I pick the smallest race? Oh, man. Totally different perspective from choosing somebody who's uh, obviously going to be bigger, like a warrior or something along those lines. Is there a speed? Is there a... I bet there's a sprint. I just don't know what button it is. And nobody in there. Nobody in that one. And nobody in that one either. Dang it. Where is she at? Maybe over here. Maybe in this one. Oh, ooh, check it out. It's Pig. Wow. Wow, that's just kind of sitting over here in the corner with nobody around to eat it, huh? Greetings. What if I sit next to this guy? Again, dungeons. And I don't want to do a dungeon, dude. I want, I want to talk to this guy. So if you use a weapon, you automatically stand up, apparently. Hmm. I think I'm missing something here, guys. I think I'm missing something. The silver dove at the center of town. That's not working too well for me. Maybe this isn't the silver dove. Hello. Yeah, she's not saying anything. Let's see. That looks like a dove. Doesn't say silver, though. Let's come over here to uh, maybe one of the other buildings. Let's look around a little bit. Maybe it's further up or something. I don't know. This looks like a warrior's guild. No. 
I wouldn't imagine the cleric would have to go to the bar. You know, it looks, it seems like this definitely looks like a warrior's guild. Very cool looking. Oh man, look at that. Bear rug. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I am lost, guys. I am so, ooh, look at that in the background. Holy crap. Yeah. I can't wait to get out there and actually start exploring the map and fighting some stuff. But I want to find my quest. I want to find that my my guild leader uh, take. Hmm. What did I take? What did I get? Uh, I grabbed something, but it's not in my... It's not in my inventory, huh? So I took something, but uh, it's gone. Can I pick up flowers, too? That reminds me of, like, Elder Scroll kind of thing, where you can... Pick up all the stuff you find in the game. Did I go in there? I don't think I did. Not that I think this is the right place either. No, that's not the right place. Ah, oh, come on. It can't be that hard to find the place. How do you talk to people? Enter? Let me look at the controls real quick. Controls or what? Uh, okay, movement, jump, crouch, sprint. There is a sprint, which is shift. Voice chat, interact, map, see yourself, which is the dash button. All right, abilities, chat, enter. Okay, so I've tried the enter thing, and that loads up my enter chat bar down on the bottom left. Character, which is C, inventory I, abilities, crafting journal, friends, action, mouse. Okay, select ability, cycle through, destroy item. It doesn't say how to talk to people. I mean, obviously, uh, enter the chat mode down here. Which doesn't seem to be working. It seems to be invisible. Let me say hi. Okay, so there it is. The chat bar is working. It's just uh, I haven't been able to chat with the right person. Let's keep looking around then. We'll find it. We'll find it. We'll find somebody who's willing to sell to us. Dude, that is that is cool. I like that. Yes. Tortured artist. Yeah, let's talk to him. So you got to get right up on top of him apparently. Tortured artist. I'll customize any armor for the right price. Chest. Uh, how much are you going to charge me? He's going to charge me four gold. I don't have any money, so that's going to have to wait. But I do like how you can change stuff around. So let me go back. And maybe it was just I didn't get close enough to the people inside the, uh, the Silver Dove, which is probably the case. Let me go ahead and put Shift on so we can run it. And we'll get back inside there. I wonder if you have a certain speed. Yeah, there we go. So we can talk to this guy if we want. Greetings. Nope, that's not who we're looking for. Greetings. Nope, that's not it either. Grick, what about you? Nope, you are not the right one. We will go back and talk to all of these people just to see what they have to say, but I want to see if I can find the right person. Nope, that ain't it either. What about you? Nope. What about you? Yes, you are the right one. What do you have there? Uh, show the uh, meaningful item? Okay, well, it's a note, but I guess that's the way of uh, putting it. So we're going to show him the item. Give the welcome letter, yeah? Greetings, I'm Nirmar. Welcome to the Inn of the Silver Dove. You come to the right spot if you're looking for adventure. Have a drink on the house. There are a lot of amazing people here. If instant adventure is what you're looking for have a seat at one of the tables you'll find an item you'll find items during your adventure don't hesitate to show them to the people around town feel free to explore our town and beyond mm, what do you mean have a seat at one of the tables if instant adventure is what we're looking for hello so we can't talk to you goodbye <laughs> yeah goodbye man you didn't you didn't have a hello good to see you no we can't talk to you either hello what we can't talk to you? I didn't even notice that at first. We can't we can't talk to any of these people. Good to see you. Farewell. <laughs> hmm. Yes. All right. So let's uh, let's have a seat and see what that does. Create a dungeons. Uh, extra large, huge. Let's go with small to start with, because I don't want to make this episode. Actually, let's go with medium. We'll go with medium, and then we'll go with like huge on the next one. Uh, we're gonna go with normal, and uh, like crypt or a cave. I kind of like caves, but I want to go with skeletons. Ah, let's go with cave. The creatures that inhabit the natural formation of the world grow progressively more dangerous the deeper you go. They're stopping nothing to protect their hordes of treasure. You have one simple job. 
relive or retrieve them or relieve them of it and bring it to the light of day. So round robin loot rules, uh, free for all. So I guess if you're doing it with multiple people, I get one loot, somebody else gets the next one and keep going, so on and so forth. Prepare to enter the dungeon. Oh, you know what? Because it's a table, if other people come and sit down at it, I bet that's how they enter the dungeon. Like You just have to be sitting there waiting for other people. So that's kind of cool. It makes it like an open thing where you don't necessarily have to know people. You just come on here during pre you know, prime hours and see a lot of people. Now, I am playing, like I said, at like 2 in the morning, so there's not a lot of players on. Let me go ahead and see if I can use the Xbox 360 controller and see how well that works. Uh, it is kind of loading up on me. Okay, so the right trigger is uh, healing. That one is attacking. Right bumper. Right bumper scrolls through. Jumping is for A. That's blocking is for B. Uh, let's see. Can't use that one. Okay, that's cool. So I can use the right and left bumper to scroll through my, my different abilities and then hit the left trigger and it will use it instead. Okay, so I like that. Let's go through. I'm going to use the Xbox 360 controller. Even that's weird to play a, a, you know, a game like this with a controller. G. Uh, what would G be in for this? Start? Nope, that ain't it. Let's uh, return to game. Open. No valid targets. Yeah. Hmm. I guess there's not a... Uh, there's not a button that on the uh, the controller huh yeah so we'll still have to use the keyboard for some things come on get it close to it hit G there we go so we got a torch we got a torch let's go into our inventory real quick and see what the torch does that might actually be useful uh, one-handed torch level one damage minus 12 spell power minus 13 can I drag it onto me I can I can equip it here let's go ahead and equip it might add some uh, some light to the situation. I doubt it. I don't think it's going to do anything, but... Uh, wow, look at the graphics, guys. That is cool. I'm liking it so far. Hoping, uh, hoping we can actually kill some of these enemies. As a cleric, don't know how well our combat is going to be. Uh, didn't quite get down there. Oh, wow, we missed. Ah, we missed again. Ah, there we go. Are we hitting them? Yeah, we are. So we just got to stay at ranged. Oh, you are dead, my my little friend. Killed an aquarium champion with holy light. All right, G to loot. We got that. We got some claws. Oh, and he's ranged as well. Oh, our life is going down. I'm going to heal myself up real quick. I killed another one. Let's get down there and see if we can snag that. Uh, nothing on him. Nothing on him to, to get. All right, let's, we're going to get a little further into here. Oh, wow. It does have a quite a bit of a range on it. I like it. wonder if the warriors get anything like that. Oh, right in the head. I think we used a little bit more uh, more damage on him because we did get it right in the head. I'm healing. Yeah, buddy boy. Go ahead and do G. It's kind of weird to have to stop every so often and hit the, the G button on the keyboard when you're using the, the joystick, but it is a small price to pay for being able to loot the stuff you want. Let's back up a little bit. I'm going to check out some of the stuff we got. Uh, the I button. There we go. See if we can use any of this. Uh, we got a claw. I can't use that. We got some leggings. Mm, is it better than what I have? Armor minus four. So armor 10 is what this one is. And this one is armor six. So it automatically tells us, compared to what we have, what it's doing for us. Uh, minus 47 on spell power? Wow. Yeah, then we don't want to wear that. What about this? Demonic Great Staff of Corruption. That is pretty much better than what I have, hands down. Uh, plus 3 on damage, plus 35 on range power, which is amazing. Uh, plus 36 on spell power. We also get damaged, uh, plus 1 crushing, and 11 to death, whatever that means. So let's go ahead and put that here. Okay, so it took the other one off. I wonder if you can switch between yeah i guess you can switch between the different weapons so we'll have that oh wow we got some guys coming can we get them ah you know what i would i would assume this thing would go down at, over time but it doesn't it goes completely straight the entire time and uh you can just 
throw from super long distances. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. What do we get? We got an orb and some blood out of that. Oh, wow. Come on, kill him. Yeah, baby. What did we get? Anything? No, we didn't get anything off of him. We're still full of life. A little bit too easy. I think I could probably step it up and go with, like, hard or uh, or medium uh, difficulty. Uh, actually, I think we were on medium, weren't we? You are dead, buddy. All right, give me some loot. We got a great crossbow. Hmm. Yeah, we'll check it. Check it out. What do we got? Damage plus 9 compared to what we have. Plus 39 on melee power. Plus 9 on range power. But we lose 49 on spell power. So we're going to wait on that one. But not bad. We also got some blood right there. And it sounds like we may be getting attacked. Oh, yeah. Two guys. Can we hit them both at the same time? No, we can only hit one at a time. Go ahead and heal up. Oh, wow. Another one. Oh, that looked like a caster, too. Yep, we want to loot that guy for sure. Orb, some scales. Loot this guy. I need to change that button. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to change the G button uh, in between this video and the next one so that I can get it uh, a little bit a little bit easier for me. Yes, you are dead, buddy. What are we going to get? Something good. Where's he at? Is he in the water? He is. Uh, we got a claw out of that. Let me jump. What do we got up here? Like a chest, maybe? I don't know. It looks like a... You know, the screen gets a little fuzzy right there. I think that's like weird... Weird particle effects coming from the sky up there. Like, I don't know, some kind of like moisture or rain effect or something. All right, so we got some people over there. Might be able to kill them. Well, we can throw several of these at the same time. And it doesn't seem like it gets rid of the other one in front of it. You think it would. You think you could only have one being cast. Let's grab that. Some more blood. Oh, you're gonna die, dude. Did we level yet? Like, how do you, how much experience do we have, do you guys think? <laughs> wow, we've already killed, like, three people over there. Yep. Let's go ahead and grab that. We're getting way too much loot. You guys need to slow that down. Make it a little bit more difficult. I understand you're probably wanting people to get loot at this point so that you can test it out, make sure there's no no bugs, but I'm hoping that uh, it's not going to be this common when the game is finally done because this is crazy amount of loot. Yeah, yeah, we're taking some damage. Let me heal up. There we go. So far, the cleric is pretty uber. Being able to heal and uh, destroy people is, is not... Oh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, buddy boy. That dude definitely got the drop on me. Didn't even see him until it was too late. All right, we're going to keep going. And then I'll look at the equipment that we've got. I don't. Uh, I did not forget that we could have gone left. Or, I mean, right instead of left. Let me go ahead and heal up. You're going down. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's loot that. We got some more bows. Anything on you? Come on, jump it. There we go. Ah, oh, a little bit too far. Come on, loot. Wish it was kind of auto loot, too. That would be a little bit easier for me. Maybe I can sell this stuff when we're done. Make a little bit of cash. These guys are pretty cool looking. Oh, he has like a little shield on or something. That was uh, that was unique. I hadn't seen that before. Are we hitting him? Yeah, we're hitting him. Barely, though. There's another guy right there. Oh, he's charging. He's charging. Yeah, I need to up the difficulty. This is way too easy. I did uh, I did pick medium, though. I can't blame them. I picked the level. There we go. Are we hitting him? Yeah, he's dead. All right, let's grab it. I think we're going to run out of space. With this much loot, we're going to run out of space, guys. Come on, grab it. All right, let's look at our inventory real quick. Wow. Holy crap. All right, so that's not good for us. Uh, the orbs, mm, one-handed, yeah, that's not going to be good either. So we got some scales. Okay, those are better than what we're wearing. So let's go ahead and throw those on. Spell power plus 19. So obviously better because we didn't have anything beforehand. Uh, great bow, not quite as good because of the spell power. We do get piercing, ice, lightning, and void. So those are kind of interesting. Health plus one, but we lose our spell power. Beat stick. 
Really? Uh, okay, we got a great staff, not good as uh, compared to what we got. Spell power plus 14, health plus one, and attack speed plus two. And we lose a little bit of armor. I think we're gonna still go ahead and wear it. Ooh, look at that. I like the way that looks, actually. All right, spell power plus one, armor minus one. Let's go with that, just to change things up. Uh, ranged power plus 42, but we lose all of our spell power, so that's not gonna happen. Nope, not on that one. Let's see, uh, mired leggings, no, not really that good either. Ooh, this is definitely pretty nice, because we don't have one. So we get a plus six, plus 60 on range power, and plus two on health. Ooh, I don't know if I like the way that looks, but we're gonna wear it. What about boots? Mm, spell power is worth it, so we're gonna go ahead and get that on boots as well. That's a nice cleaver, though. That is definitely a nice cleaver. If I wasn't playing a, uh, a healer, that would be the way to go, I think. Let's see, what do we got here? Bracers? No, we're not going to do that. Mired Bracer. So we lose one armor. We gain 12 melee. We gain 36 on our range. We lose 16 on our spell power. We gain a health. We gain an attack speed. And we gain a crit chance for our spells. Hmm. I guess we're going to do it, even though we lose so much on our spell power. But it seems like a pretty nice thing to have. So let's try that out. All right. Wow, look at our weapon. It's like pulsating with power right there on the side. All right, let's see if we can get some good stuff in here. It does seem like pretty nice stuff is dropping. Uh, that looks like a giant chasm. I'm not jumping down there just yet. I want to see where it's going to go. I do apologize if the episode is a little bit long. I am going to combine it with the first part of this episode where we had that little bit of a hiccup. And uh, it's going to probably be about 40 minutes long. Wow. That is like certain death, I think. We're going to go down things uh, the slow way. I wonder if you can knock these icicles down. Nope, doesn't seem like you can. That would be really cool. If you could knock those things down and use that to your advantage. You know, and kill like 15 enemies over there. Or just uh, have them do the same thing. Maybe lightning all over the place and have those things uh, randomly falling down. You know, on the map and damaging you if you're not, uh, you know, pay attention to your, your surroundings. This looks like a way up, and this looks like a way down. Hmm. All right, let's finish going down first, then. And we'll come back up if we have to. Although, we might be, uh... Might be finishing this up here. But there's an exit. Although, I do want to go back and explore the whole dungeon. Make sure we didn't miss anything. Hmm. Yeah, this is still going down. Holy crap, this goes down really, really far. That is, uh... It's probably going to kill us. All right, let's go back this way. No enemies over here for some weird reason. Uh, you know, again, it is... <laughs> it is a very, uh, you know, easy dungeon because I, I didn't pick the hard one. So maybe that's why. Maybe you only have so many enemies and then no more. So they did put a lot of them close together, though. Okay, let's see. Speed? There we go. We can speed through this. We'll run it. Uh-huh. Nothing. Oh, is that somebody over there? I think it is. That's... What is that? Some kind of, like, mole man? I think it is. It's like a... Oh, oh, that's like an orc. Let me heal myself. It's a dwarf, huh? Yeah, a deep dwarf root cleaver. Okay, well, let's pick up his uh, copper ore. He's mining some stuff down here, apparently. We're going to pick up that as well. An enchanted branch. Can we... We jump up here. Can I do anything? Gold ore. So I got some gold ore. Nothing I can do with this, huh? All right. Oh, that looks like a dude. Kind of just chilling. I think he's stuck. They've killed a deep orc. Yeah, we're gonna loot you too. You guys are way too easy. Way too easy. Here we go. Here we go. We got some attacking going on. Are we killing him? I think we are. <laughs> Holy crap! Heal myself. There we go. Wow, that guy's attack really just uh, took off a lot of my life. Ooh, yes, please. Ooh, what did you, what did you give me? What what's going on? Why am I frozen? I think I'm frozen. That is cool. Okay, we are finally getting into some really really dangerous mobs. If they can freeze me like that, I think they might actually have a chance at uh, destroying me because they'll be able to get up there and just kind of beat on my face without me being able to fight back or heal myself. All right, let's grab you as well. Oh, wow, I took off his shirt. 
A native chest guard. I thought there was somebody over here. Yeah, right there. Right in the head. Come on, get you. Get some. Get some. Oh, yeah, you didn't stand a chance, dude. I, f I feel sorry for you. No, nah, no, I don't, actually. Uh, oh, I got your boots. I got your boots, guy. Grab that as well. Got your belt. Is there anything good up here? I want to mine. I want to, like, destroy some, some rocks and get some minerals from it. All right, here he comes. Oh, he's casting. Holy crap. Wow. That did a lot. Wow, he's doing fire over there. I need to start dodging. That is cool. Crap, man. That one guy, whatever that little icicle thing that he throws at you, that nearly kills me. Just just by him alone. So if I had him and one other guy doing that, uh, there's no way. No way my guy would make it. And I don't know what happens if you die. Like, you lose everything or what? Kind of don't want to find out just yet. <laughs> I want to be able to make it back to... Uh, to the thing. I'm on level two, though. I wonder how far down you go. Oh, crap. Here we go. And one of those guys has a cape down there. It's not a good sign. I don't like guys with capes. It usually means, uh, yeah, superheroes, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Magic is, is kind of what it, uh, implies to me. There we go. Let's grab this. And we are going to, uh, I'm going to kill this guy. And then I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode because this doesn't seem like this is going to end anytime soon. So we'll go ahead and stop the episode. I will change the, the G button so that I can loot this stuff a little bit easier with the controller. Uh, we'll go through our loot, see if we got anything decent there in between this episode and the next. And then we'll uh, come back and start the episode there and go a little bit further down this dungeon and see if maybe we can find the end of it and uh, get some pretty good loot. I think we're... We're finally getting some really, really good stuff here. Again, guys, I do want to thank you all for watching. This is a game called Kings and Heroes, developed by Industrial Industry Games. And its uh, release date was May 31st, 2016. Currently selling right now on Steam for $24.89. Early access game. Normal price is $29.99. So if you get it right now, you get a little bit on sale. Again, guys, thanks for watching. And I will definitely catch you all next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.